Yes, truck trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Moritz. Today I get to walk you around a 2018 Jayco Envoy 2060. So it's actually the Jayco 100 series Envoy. This is a special limited edition from Jayco. They only made 173 of these units in 2018. Um, so just a little overview. This would be a great first coach for someone, someone who wants to see if they like the RV lifestyle without jumping into a $120,000, $150,000 Class C. 28 feet 8 inches overall length so you can get it into any national park you can take it anywhere you know you can boondock it this one does have a hundred what a 100 watt solar panel on the roof so you could boondock it take it into rv parks whatever just learn the lifestyle see if it's something that you're really interested in before going into the more expensive rvs so on the exterior we'll see just about a 15 foot electric awning now these Jayco Envoys are kind of cool. They've got everything you need without all the stuff you don't need that just kind of causes problems. So nice power extend, power retract awning. We do have an LED light strip in it as well so that you can enjoy it at night when you're sitting outside by your campfire. In this first compartment, now this is a fixed propane bottle, 42 pounds of propane. All you have to do is take it to an RV, uh, campsite or a truck stop that has propane fill it up and that's going to run your furnace your heat your hot water and your gas stove behind that nice big storage so this is what you get when you upgrade from vans into class c's you actually get some underbody storage moving back more storage now over here on this left side we do have our low point drains that's going to be for winterizing this unit. We do have outside speakers. So we've got one there and one in the front. That's going to hook directly in, into the radio inside to play music while you're out enjoying the evening. And in the back, a really big storage compartment. Perfect for all your lawn chairs, maybe a little gas grill whatever you need. Come around to the back, notice up top in that light, we do have a full color backup camera just to help us navigate. All LED tail lights and marker lights on the back, down below, two inch receiver. Now this is built on the Ford E450 chassis, which means we get a 7,500 pound towing capacity. They do give you a seven pin connector as well as a four pin connector for your trailer brakes, trailer lights, or if you're towing a vehicle, to towed vehicle lights, but 7,500 pounds, you actually have the capability to take all your toys with you. On the passenger side, in the very back, another storage compartment. Jayco did a great job on giving you as much exterior storage as they could. We also have the valves for our gray and black tank dump in that back compartment. So when we're ready to dump, just come back here, pull those valves out. It'll open up your tank drains. Exterior shower, now that is behind a locking door and it is hot and cold. Up top here, I really like the Jayco does this. This is our valves for uh, change, changing our water source. So let's just say we wanna use city water, okay? So we look here, it actually gives us two and six. So this valve is currently in the two position and then we just change that one to six and now we're at city water. Or if we wanted to go to tank fill, we could go one and six. They actually give you a pretty nice key here to be able to understand where those valves need to be for what you're doing. Right here, we've got our fuel fill, 55 gallons of gasoline. And then to the left of that, we've got our hose connections. So this top one is going to be for a black tank flush. That's gonna be a sanitization valve, activates a sprinkler inside of your sewage tank to help flush everything out of there. And then below that, we've got the city water connection, also known as your tank fill connection. Down below that, 30 amp power cord, 25 foot cord. Very important. We also have two 110 volt outlets, so if you needed power on the exterior, we have it available for you. And then more storage. Now this one will be underneath the slide out when the slide is out. So this is the stuff that you don't, aren't going to need often or you know, you're only gonna use when the slide is in. Forward of that, two 12 volt house batteries on a tray. 
So if you ever need to change those batteries out, you just go ahead and pull that tray out rather than trying to fight getting them into a tight space. And then last but not least on the exterior, we've got the Cummins owning quiet gas 4,000 watt generator. That is gonna pull directly off of that 55 gallon fuel tank and provide you power if you're out boondocking, just need to charge your batteries up, run the microwave, that kind of thing. So while we're up in the front here, the stock number to this unit is 5U211625. Again, 2018 Jayco Envoy 26D. So you're gonna see when we look at this, this is very similar to a Greyhawk. One of the big differences between the Envoy and the Greyhawk is going to be this front cap. It is a lot nicer looking rather than your old school traditional front caps. You also get the big panoramic window up in top, up top. Now that is bonded automotive glass. So you don't have to worry about it shattering or something. If it takes a rock, it'll kind of just crack just like your windshield would. And now we can go inside. So as we come inside, let's look to the left. Up top, we've got our exterior light switches. So awning light, exterior light, and then this is the master interior light. So you don't have to walk into a dark coach. Two 110 volt outlets. Down below, this is your remote meter. This is just gonna tell you the state of charge of your solar. So that's your solar controller. Down below, awning in and out, and then your main power disconnect for, um, if you put it in storage, you can turn those batteries off, keep them from drawing. So as you walk in, this coach is completely closed up right now. So this is the smallest it'll ever be when you're traveling. Still a ton of room to get through here. You can get to the bed. Now this does have a folding bed, so that makes things a little trickier. Get to the bathroom, the pantry, and even the refrigerator. Pretty much unobstructed. Cooktop. So it's nice to see them closed up. We'll open it up now. So the bed slide is going to go out first and then I'll do the living room slide. So while we have a little downtime, we do have 47 gallons of fresh water, 41 gallons of, of gray water and 36 gallons of black water. So gray is going to be your water from your sinks and your showers. Black is going to be your toilet water. Now we're fully bed slide or living room slide going out. So another feature of the Envoy that's kind of cool over the Greyhawk is we actually have a 15,000 BTU air conditioning rather than the 13.5s that come standard. So if you're out summer camping and it's really hot, you're going to get a little bit better cooling efficiency out of that air conditioning than the standard Greyhawks. So we'll start back here in the bedroom. Nice big queen bed. It is a full walk around, so I can get over here. Makes it easy to make the bed. Do have a nightstand on either side as well as two 110 volt outlets for charging our phones, iPads, watches, whatever you gotta charge nowadays. Right next to the bed, we've got a Jensen radio system. So that's gonna control those outside speakers as well as the ceiling mounted speakers in this motorhome. Something I find very interesting about this particular coach is we actually have dual slide out controls. So you can open and close this slide from either the front or the back, just depending on what you're doing. Really nice big bathroom. Sliding shower door. Plenty of room to get in here, plenty of room to move around. Now, right now we do have the hanging bar sitting in it. This is if you wanted to, you know, dry clothes or something. After a day of swimming, you can hang them in here and out of your way. You can also use it as more hanging storage if you're not going to use the shower. Now with this, we do have a six gallon gas electric hot water heater, so you can run it off of either the propane or electricity if you have it available. Really big medicine cabinet, plenty of space for three or four people's toiletries. Mirror built in there, hot and cold sink, small countertop, little wet storage, and then a cabinet below. Now this is actually going to have your whole house water filter in this cabinet. We have it pulled out right now just because we winterize these units. And a standard foot flush toilet. 
Now directly forward of that, we have dual pantries. Nice and big, plenty of room for food for three or four people. And then this kitchen is equipped with the booth dinette. We do have cup holders in the table, which is kind of nice. If someone's sitting in that side, that side will have two seat belts in it. Um, if someone's sitting over there and they have a drink, they can put it in the cup holder so it's not sliding around while you guys are driving down the road. Now this table also, quick uh, lock release, does just push down. Now if I actually pull these up, push it down and then these just fill in and we've got a nice bed for the grandkids or your kids. Moving forward to that, two really big cabinets. Now these could either be extra um, kitchen storage or you can use them as guest storage for their belongings. All the original manuals to this motorhome right here. Previous owner kept those for you. Down below, actually a fairly comfortable couch, but we've got two seat belts built into this couch. And then it is a jackknife and drops down into a bed. So we're gonna kind of back up a little bit here. Now we are on the kitchen side. Now one thing that I probably should have mentioned in the bedroom, but this is your wardrobe space for the bedroom. So really, really big hanging closet. And then a bank of four drawers down below that. Moving forward, we've got the Norcold gas electric refrigerator. So you can run this two ways. If you have electricity available, it'll run on electricity. If you do not have electricity, it'll run off of the propane off of that 44 pound bottle. High point microwave convection oven. So you can do some baking in that as well. An Atwood three burner gas cooktop. So I like that they put the little folding cover there. Acts as a uh, splash guard so you don't get bacon grease and things all over your backsplash. It also lets you use this as food prep space before you start cooking. And this one actually has an oven which we just don't see very often in motorhomes anymore. Bank of three drawer, drawers for all your kitchen utensils. And then really big storage cabinets down below. Two burner sink, or two burner, two bowl sink with hot and cold water. And then up above, a really big cabinet, pots, pans, cups, plates, all that stuff. You could easily fit it in that cabinet. Now, moving forward, we've got the 32 inch Insignia TV. So this is on a swivel mount so we can move it around as needed. And then it just tucks back into the wall. And with that TV, we also have the cab over bunk. Now that is an absolutely huge bunk. You could definitely sleep two adults there, no problem. And with that panoramic window up there, just to keep the sun out, we've got an electric shade. to close it off. So one to keep the sun out, two for privacy. But it is electric, switches right next to the bed so you don't have to get out of bed to go find it. Now this is nice that that flips up and out of the way, makes it easy to get back into the cab. Two 110 volt outlets, two USB ports, and then the overhead light switch. All right here where your head would be while you were sleeping. Easy to access, easy to charge your phone. There is a little storage up here. So the person who sleeps up here could keep some stuff uh, next to their head. So drop it down into the cab. Like I said, this is built on a Ford E450 chassis. Now like this is a used 2018. It has 22,916 miles on it. So a little bit below average miles. 